Did you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Hey. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is... I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. That's the whole reason why we're in this, is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep. Because I need my rest. So that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. You're gonna be fine. Really? Mm hmm. You'll see. Delson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's gonna take more than that. No. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, um, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Dustin, you just got back on your feet. I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. Which means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? Wait, think about it. You'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck. I... That's oh, my truck. Welcome, everybody. Josh here today. Back at again today with a brand new product review. Today, we're talking about Infamous Second Son. Now, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of superhero films. I'm also a massive fan of superhero style video games. And Infamous Second Son is no exception. I think that the Infamous Second Son uh, video game is relatively underrated compared to some of Sony's other titles in the PlayStation back catalog of video games, especially the PS4 and PS5 with backwards compatibility. Now, as you guys know, this game takes place in Seattle, Washington. This is a really different setting compared to some of the other video 
video games that take place, you know, in New York City or even some other locations around the world, whereas Infamous takes place in Seattle Mall. I think a lot of us didn't really know how that was going to work in terms of the context of the story, in terms of the location of, you know, where these characters live. I think it grounds this place a little bit more of a reality than you would otherwise think. And when this game came out, I think everybody was blown away by the graphics, the storytelling in this game. Everything about this game is basically realistic to a T and it provides you some moral choices of whether or not you're going to be good or evil in terms of the context of the story. And that is one of the things I really do love about the Infamous franchise is that it gives you the choice to be either a good guy in the world that Delson Rowe lives in or even a villain if you so choose to. And you know, I always choose the path of a hero just because of the fact that's basically who I am as a person. But I can understand that there are some people that want to go back and replay the villainous aspects of it because whether or not you choose the good or the bad side, your choices do matter in the context of the story and it basically over time kind of shows you a different side of the character that you otherwise wouldn't know because there's different dialogue choices, different dialogue options depending on what you pick throughout the entirety of the game. Now my gameplay will always be the same just because of the fact that I don't really switch between the hero and villain stuff that much but occasionally there's stuff that happens within this game when you're fighting villains and stuff like that it makes it so that you are forced to kind of change who you are as a person in the game to kind of match what your karma stance is and in the infamous games you play as Nelson Rowe at least in the infamous second son you do and he is basically at the start of this a juvenile he's a delinquent he's basically a graffiti enthusiast he goes around town wiping you know these walls with graffiti Art, Delson Rowe's brother, who is named Reggie, is a sheriff. He's basically hunting down the person that's responsible for doing this. It turns out to be his brother. Delson eventually meets Hank, who Hank is his conduit, and he absorbs Hank's powers, and Hank gives him the ability to become a superhero, and with that moral dilemma comes a choice of whether or not Delson Rowe is going to use his powers for good, or use his powers, like I said before, for evil. And I think that with being this being an open-world third-person action-adventure game, you get to basically choose what round that Delson Rowe basically takes throughout the entirety of this game and I think that having that ability of choice having that ability of movement with the parkour mechanics with the fact that there is fast travel in this game you can go through these vents and kind of shoot up towards the sky and stuff like that and it's a really cool gameplay mechanic that takes place throughout the entirety of Seattle and there's a lot of different locations that you go to in this game it's not just in one tiny little area of Seattle but it's basically spread out throughout the entire city and I think that getting to explore their city getting to explore the storytelling in this game which definitely does have a hero's journey element to it Delson starts out as a little bit naive he doesn't really know what he wants to do with his life. He kind of wants to be a graffiti artist, which really doesn't pay that well. And then once he gets these powers, he kind of becomes something a little bit more than himself. He has to kind of realize that he has a much more obligation to his friends and family than he did before because there's this secondary character that comes into play along with Delson and his brother named Brooke Augustine. And Brooke Augustine is basically part of the DUP, which is basically hunting down and targeting conduits. Throughout the entirety of the game, you kind of see the propaganda that the DUP is putting up where conduits are bad and that basically Delson Rowe is kind of made to be out the villain even though he's really not he's just trying to do some good and you kind of see that throughout the entirety of the game of whether or not Delson Rowe is going to save the citizens of Seattle that's under lockdown because of the DUP invasion or whether or not he's going to help free these people and kind of win the day and towards the end of the game you kind of realize that there's a much bigger plan going on for the conduits where they're trying to eradicate the conduits from existence and Delson is basically on a quest for vengeance to kind of take back Seattle not only from the DUP but also Brooke Augustine who's basically this big bad at the end and when I originally played infamous second son Brooke Augustine kind of showed up I was a little bit skeptical I'm like why are they kind of making this female character the villain what's her deal and especially the fact that she has conduit powers but apparently she's going after conduits like it doesn't really make that much sense in the context of the story but apparently the government hired her because she's the best in her business she's able to kind of track down these other conduits and knows a little bit more about sort of how they work and operate in terms of the context of the story and so that is the reason why they're kind of working with her because they know that if she captures the conduits and takes them out then eventually the conduit will no longer exist and you kind of have that moral obligation to kind of help fight for your friends and family because of that so I think that her as a villain is a really strong character I think that Troy Baker who plays Delson Rowe is really great the voice actor who plays Reggie who I don't really know on the top of the hat does a really good job in this game storytelling in this game is top-notch compared to some of that of other video games in Sony's lineup whether that's Uncharted or God of War or Killzone or some of these other titles that everybody kind of knows and loves from the other Sony you know PlayStation back catalog and PS4 and PS5 you know I think that Infamous Second Son is one of those games games that gets overlooked a lot and it's a really great story driven sort of narrative that you know I don't think many studios including Sucker Punch this day really kicks out in terms of sort of their storytelling department I think that Ghost of Tsushima which I'm definitely going to review on my channel at some point I think that's the only other video game that I really did kind of love besides Infamous Second Son it's kind of a shame that Sony isn't really doing anything with their Infamous franchise I think that if they basically remastered the first couple of games and put them on the PlayStation 5 I would pretty much pick them up and buy them just because of the fact that I really do want to play as Cole McGrath.
McGrath again, and being the fact that I cosplay as Delzin Rowe, as you can see here, as well as Cole McGrath, and kind of working on a Cole McGrath cosplay. I think that the Infamous franchise is still really popular. I think there's a lot of things they could do in terms of building the brand. And I think that the fact that Sucker Punch and Sony is basically just sitting on this IP is really not something that I think should down. I think they should definitely kind of expand in more games as well as bringing some of the older games to the original console or even allowing players to play the games natively on their PS5, kind of like Xbox does with their backwards compatibility. But I think that personally speaking, Infamous Second Son is a really great story-driven narrative. I think that if you're interested in telling stories and writing screenplays, you should definitely look at Infamous as one of those superhero games that's really great, along with Marvel's Spider-Man that Insomniac Games produces that has a lot of heart and character to it. And some of the characters that are featured in this game are characters that you grow to know and love over time. And you don't really want to see them die when they eventually do perish, which Reggie eventually does die towards the end of the game anyway. But with that being the case, I think that with the massive amount of storytelling that is within this game, I think that the world that Sucker Punch built with Seattle is really interesting and really cool to kind of experience, not to mention the fact that a lot of modern video games are kind of built in Seattle, which is another reason why I think that it's so easy to kind of go over there and use that as a setting for a video game. The fact that it's more grounded in reality compared to some of the other infamous games of the franchise, you know, music and score and graphics look really amazing. The graphics in this game that came out in 2014 look even better than some of the games coming out even to this day, and I think that anybody who is a PlayStation fan, who is a Sony fan, should definitely check this out. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of Infamous Second Son on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Do you think it's worth paying the $20 now to kind of play this game? Do you think that Delson Rowe is a great superhero character in his own right? Do you think that superhero films or video games are dying like a lot of mainstream, you know, Hollywood and media would want you to think in terms of that nature? What do you think of superhero films and video games in general or even comic books for that matter? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Fashion way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. Don't flinch. I knew we couldn't trust him. Okay, okay, you were right. If I had listened to you, we wouldn't even be here. Uh huh. Well, as long as we are here, we should save those two people. How are you gonna get us out of here? I'm gonna have to shoot you down. Slow crap! Look out! Nelson, look at me. You gotta let me go. No, I can do this. Listen, can we can't this. let this stuff this. get to you two. David, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No!